Hey guys, it's Freestyle Figs here, and today I have for you guys my Stranger Things Season 2 minifigure showcase. In this showcase, we have Eleven and Mike, as well as two other alternate 11s. In my last showcase on Season 1, I made Chief Hopper, the Demogorgon, Mike, Dustin, Will, and Eleven, but I left out Lucas because I sadly didn't have the parts. You can check that out in the description below, and because that came out last year, I think it'll really show how much I've improved. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Kicking off this showcase, we have Mike Wheeler, played by IT star Finn Wolfhard. I also made a Richie Tolzer of him from the IT minifigure showcase. That'll be in the description below as well. Now, there's a lot of I want to talk about with this figure. Let's start with the shoes. Now, I have the vintage Adidas design on the shoes. The plain white with the black uh, logo on it. I really want to get as much detail into this figure as possible. Now, working our way up, I put shading detail into the pants. I uh, started with a plain dark blue uh, color, Legos color, and then I shaded around the edges black, and then I worked in to the middle blue. And uh, then onto the torso, you can see I have uh, Mike's red and black shirt with the little lines in between. And then working around it, is his jacket which I actually double layered a layer of paper on it you can see there if you look closely uh, there's one layer for the red and then another on top of that for the uh, brownish tannish that goes around as well as the design of, around the collar now the head from last year's showcase stayed the same because I just felt like it worked so well especially this year, as he got older and cheekbones more prominent, whatever, people told me it was too old for last year's. I think it works well this year. And that's Mike Wheeler. Next up, we have Eleven in Stranger Things Season 2, played by Millie Bobby Brown, of course. Now, I went for a Hopper's Cabin look here, that outfit with the gray shirt with the stripes running down the side and the white undershirt, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, you'll see in the future fig I show up next, it'll have a lot of detail in the shoes, but because in this scene she was running in the snow and the mud and the dirt, her shoes got dirty, and so I just kind of did the white layer and then uh, dry brushed some dark brown on the bottom to show a muddied look. And then I, uh, I had the light blue jeans with a little bit of shading on the inside and the and the outside getting from lighter to darker starting on the inside and then the torso I really like how that came out it's just a light gray torso with some shading on the sides it goes from black to, to dark gray to light gray as well as the uh, stripes down the side now that was very tedious to do they were very small details to add and as you can see it takes a lot of uh, practice to get that straight line. Now, curved, the arms don't line up with the torso, with the lines on the torso, but if you curve them in this standing position, they do line up, and as you can see, it continues all the way to the neckline with uh, paint continuing around the figure's head. Now, the head is... Uh, the only printed part on the head are the eyes. The rest are painted. That includes the lips and the eye eyebrows and little uh, eye details around it, if you can even see that. The hair is just a uh, hobbit hair that I ordered a piece for. And I really like how this figure came out. I think it shows season two, eleven very well. There are multiple other different outfits I could have done, but I like this the most because it was simple, it was clean, it was very one-layered. I liked it a lot. I hope you guys like it too. Now here we have Eleven from Season 1 of Stranger Things. I made this figure in the last showcase, but I wanted to revise it because I felt uh, my skills had gotten better and I had gained the ability of shading and adding layering to the figure as you can see here and on Mike from previously. Uh, now, you can obviously tell that the head is the same from the one before, only I switched the hair from curly to the buzz cut because I felt that her facial uh, 
look doesn't really change that much, um, especially being able to tell with painted uh, minifigure. It's not really that much detail you can change. There's only so much you could do. Now, uh, going back to the shoes I mentioned previously, you can see it's the low top converse, uh, the white ones with the red line and the blue line. I put a lot of detail into those. You can even see where the shoe ends and the sock starts, the light gray lines wrapping around, as well as the socks and the little skin showing on the beneath the dress. Um, you can see uh, on the jacket, the blue jacket, um, the shading on there, you can see it goes from light blue to dark blue and then back out from dark blue to light blue on the inside on the second layer there. It's actually uh, three layers of paper on this figure, one for the dress and one for the jacket and one for the collars on the jacket as well as another one on top of the dress for the white uh, collars there. Now, I did include an Ego waffle. I didn't do it last time, I'm sorry, but I like the way it came out. It's pretty simple, it's just a small little feature I added. Um, there's a little shading on the bottom of the dress from the uh, little shadowing of the folds in the dress, and you can see not much shading on the arms. This was before I really went heavy on shading, but I think it's still a great figure and uh, it's a lot better from last year's, that's for sure. Finally, we have Eleven in the test subject dress she wears from Hawkins Lab. Uh, you guys really seem to like this figure. It was my most liked photo on Instagram and it's really reminiscent of my Marilyn Monroe. I also post on Instagram. You can check that out in the description below. Now, uh, onto the figure, you see there's a lot going on here. The polka dots, the shading, the uh, uh, shape of the dress as it flies out from the bottom and spews forward a little bit, the hand raised, the collar, the face. Um, there's a lot to talk about, so I'll just talk about the dress for now. Um, on the bottom, you can see there's a hatched look. I included that as kind of a reference to my Marilyn figure. There's a lot of inspiration from that. Um, you can see on the torso, or the top half of the dress pretty much, um, there's not much shading, but there is a little blue on the top left corner as well as the middle. As the black lines show, it goes down and then out and then kind of swoops up in the bottom. Uh, the arms uh, continue the polka dot pattern all the way around on either side and the head was originally uh, goes to this figure but I just used the um, calm face but it works either way um, it's the reaction as she's killing the Demogorgon in season one and you can see there's a lot going on there the uh, the tears the bloody nose the bloody ears there's a lot of detail here as well as just the uh, dirt on the forehead from uh, all the mist in the air, the upside down, the eyes reddening on the sides. There's a lot of detail there, um, a lot of anger, a lot of emotion. I really think I captured it well, and I'm really proud of that face in particular. Uh, it works well here, mostly. But um, you guys really seem to like this figure. It's, uh, it's really great, in my opinion, and uh, that's about it. I just wanted to show what the emotional Eleven head looks like on the season one body. So here's a video I shared on Instagram of the scene recreation of, at the end of season one when she's killing the Demogorgon. That's it for my Stranger Things season two minifigure showcase. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram where I post figures I won't be making showcases on, as well as behind the scenes and some Lego photography. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Also, Dustin has hair now, you can also have commenting.